We're out on the weather deck because it's so beautiful. Chef Ryan Nolan is here and uh, wow, what a day. Yeah, yeah. For this. I mean, perfect, perfect. to get the grill I, I, fired you up, know, right? I'm stuck in the kitchen so much, I don't get to see. What is this blue thing up here? It's fantastic. It's a blue it sky, is just gorgeous. no clouds yeah. in sight. Uh, how are things going down there in Oshkosh? Busy. Yeah? Now that uh, it's finally warmed up, the patio is filling up, so we've got uh, a lot of great people coming out and enjoying the spring weather. And where do we find you? 30 Wisconsin Street, right across from the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, Mahoney's Restaurant and Bar. Excellent. And what are we making today? Today, well, first of all, we're going to start our pot on fire, but uh, <laughs> what we're going to make is kind of a play on General Tao's chicken. Okay. You know, you've had it from the Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Now you can make it at home. Use part of the sauce as a marinade for some chicken that you can throw on the grill. Okay. Use the other half to drizzle over the top. Sounds kind of healthy. It, it, well, there's a lot of sugar in oh, okay. it. So. <laughs> <laughs> second thought, a sec on second thought. Sure. Okay. So well, how let's do we start do out. we got to start out with a little bit of oil. So we have a hot pot here, so hopefully we don't start anything on yeah. fire. <laughs> to that we're going to add some ginger, well that was the garlic, the ginger, okay. and some green onion or scallion. Oh. And this is kind of like that core Yum, of most, most Chinese good. sauces. Yes. So we're going to get that nice aroma going and everything like that. Now we don't want to cook this too long because we're going to burn the garlic, burn the ginger. And then it would be bitter, yes. am I right? Exactly. So we're just kind of attention. doing it to, let's say, until that aroma is really present. Okay. And then to that we're going to add some crushed red pepper flakes, just like you'd throw on your pizza. Yeah. Now, if you don't like it as spicy, you can add less. I like my General Tao's a little bit hot. All right, bring it. All right, and then to that, we've got the zest of one orange. I have one of those micro planes Ooh, yes. that gets it nice and fine. It makes it easy to do it. Then. Yep, so then you're gonna keep sauteing that, and now we've got that aroma of all that and the orange and okay. everything like that. To that, we're gonna add some chicken stock. Now, if you wanted to do this vegetarian, at this point, you would just add some vegetable stock or oh, something that's like that. Enough, right? Although you're going to be putting it on chicken. Chicken, yeah, but you could put it on tofu. Oh, well, all right, for vegetables. So exactly. So we kind of bring this to a boil, and it should come to a boil soon. But to kind of work the rest of our sauce magic together, we've got some rice vinegar, okay. just to add just a hint of that acid to it. We've got some soy sauce, which is going to be our salt driver in it, and give so it that dark color. It's a lot of ingredients, but if you have it all laid out, and you just... It's pretty simple. Yeah. It's just yeah. add and go. And then right at the end, we're going to add just a little bit of sesame oil to kind of give it that oh, toasted, nice. nutty flavor. And, and then, then finally, we're going to thicken it up. But before okay. we do that, we have to add our sugar, which yeah, is quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, you ever have General Tao's chicken? It's pretty sweet. So and it's not Memorial Day weekend every weekend. No, not so, at all. Yes, I mean, you, if you had made this every day, there might be some problems. But to thicken it, we're going to make a little bit of a slurry, which is a corn, okay. starch, and water mixture. So we're just going to kind of mix that together and Hopefully that was just some orange zest that got yeah, in there, not something from the birds. No, <laughs> so once we get this to a boil, we're going to slowly add this. Now keep in mind, if you add your cornstarch slurry too soon, yeah. it's not going to thicken because it needs to be about 190 degrees or so for that modified starch to act right and okay. thicken up. So if you've ever added it and you're like, boy, it's just not getting thick, bring it to a boil. Is it more than likely, us? Yeah, it will. Okay. We just got to get it to a boil. But while we're waiting for that, what we did... What I did ahead of time is I had some chicken that we had already or, uh, skewered up and marinated. Perfect. So what we did with this sauce is once it's all done, we took it off the heat. So this is already marinated in that same sauce. Yep. So you're you, going to you take half your sauce. Some of it aside. You're going to take about half your sauce. Okay. And you're going to cool it, and then you can marinate your chicken in it. And I did this mm. overnight. Four hours is fine, but I think overnight is the best. We just put it on some wood skewers, which burned, and then uh, we would Still just need the skewers. If yeah. You so and also. Don't take your marinade and try and make it as, you know, the stuff you already put the raw chicken in, just discard yeah, it. Yeah, you, yeah, could, yeah. you could boil it and use it as a sauce again, but I wouldn't. Just to be safe. So once that got nice and thick, okay. we would just drizzle it over the top. And you're going to have... And dive right in? And dive right in. All right. Well, so, why don't we bring Pete out here? Okay. And after the break, we'll dive right in and try those. Sounds fantastic. Oh, Ryan, thanks so much. You we'll bet. put the recipe online, fox 11